Well, hello there. Welcome back to another F1 Clash video. And we're going to be making a big decision today. Yes, we are looking at what we are going to purchase in the CC store. So I've purposely held off for a few days so to make my mind up on the way I think the game is going and also the decision that I want to make. Now, if my voice sounds a bit rough, I apologize. I literally went to Greece yesterday for 26 hours to watch Aston Villa play and we lost. Literally two flights, one day, no sleep. So I don't want to hear any football in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> but hopefully you are all now on the game. You're all now playing. Do also let me know down below if you have now got the update because it was great to see the Hutch finally get the rollout for you Android players after some time. And hopefully there might be some compensation, if not already, on the way for you. So let's talk CC Store. You can see it on the top right of my screen right now. And if you don't know what the CC Store is, then it is a store where we earn points. Now, we earned these points last season. So we completed challenges like win so many races, unlock so many cards, level up so many cards, get a really good result in GP, and it accumulated to CC points. So as you can see in the very top right-hand corner, I have 570 points in the Constructors' Championship store. Now, in here, you can buy drivers and parts all the way from Series 12 to Series 1. But the caveat is... The higher the series go, the higher the cost you go. So as you can see here, Series 12, it has increased this year and all the costs seem to have gone up. So we don't get as bargain for our book anymore. 500 for a Series 12 Epic driver and 375 for a Series 12 car part. In Series 11, where there's also good parts, you've got 460 points for a driver, 345 for a car part so if you've got high amount of cc points then you could potentially buy a good part or a good driver or you could also buy some from the lower as well now the thing i want to think about and this is why it's crucial that you watch all this video when we've got cc points yes it gets us some early parts now we've seen for example carlos Sainz up here if you bought carlos Sainz and purchased enough cards in the shop to get him series one to series two or level one level two it's around a 54 million upgrade it's very expensive so whatever you're going to buy in here the chances are unless you buy coins with books you're not going to be upgrading for some time as well so what are we going to side this year what are we going to do now i've got a nice little sheet that i'm going to bring up in a second to try and tell you now last year saw cornering the meta it saw drivers with a high qualifying, the meta. But I do believe that this year it is changing. Hutcher focused on speed quite a lot. And you can noticeably see that in the straights when you race. Now, have you noticed that you come out of a straight or come out of a corner and you start dropping backwards as the acceleration of the cars behind start coming forward? Now, that's one of the biggest notices that I've made. But remember, we do still overtake in the corners. So if you've got great CC points, I'm going to show you exactly what i am going to do i do believe that car parts are the meta over picking a driver this year and the simple reason of that is because remember now last season your qualifying was based on your driver and it was based on your speed cornering and reliability now in this game they have removed that qualification point you now just have qualifying for driver and qualifying for the car making it simple to work out your qualifying points. But I am finding at the moment that even though I get people and matchmaking like this, where the rival starts miles ahead because they have better qualifying, fourth and sixth, and I start 15th and 16th. Now you can see the qualifying stat difference there. It is literally 22, 23 different. Well, it's a quite easy win when you prioritize your car over your driver it's great that a driver starts higher don't get me wrong but as soon as you start on the grid and you them lights go out your car is then in play so once that lap one is also done with race start then it is not as good you need a car 
absolutely at the top of your game that is for sure so we're going to prioritize car parts in this video that is certain okay so let's head over to that cc store and first of all let's tell you what we are going to look at so we're going to bring up this lovely spreadsheet yes this is a spreadsheet that we've put together and we are going to go and take a look at so this is all the key parts that i think are potentially worth it for you in this cc store now we've got parts from series 12 all the way down to series 7 and 8 in here it goes through suspension engine gearbox rear wing brake it goes through it all now you can see top right hand the side this is filtered by total points. So this is your speed, cornering, power unit and qualifying all added together to see which one gives you the most points. Now, it's no surprise to see Series 12 Epics give you the most points, especially the two at the top, but it gives you 375. It's a big chunk. And if you commit to that, you're probably committing to one part. But I think there's a secret in here that we can dive into now look at the series 11 cyclone rear wing so yes it is speed now we are seeing a speed improvement in this game but that is one of the purchases i am going to make cyclone series 11 it is 30 points less than the top series 12 but i'm going to be able to buy something else as well that's the difference so and something else that is pretty good too so we're going to take Cyclone. It's going to give me a 60 speed. It's going to give me 23 cornering, 21 power unit, 24 qualifying. So it's decent on the qualifying as well. So we make up for not taking that driver. We have a good pit time too, 0.27. So again, it's going to really help your pit time when you start racing jewels. It's going to be way, way quicker. Also to note, total points, even though it's 30 CC points less, Take a look at the total stats. It is only one stat lower than the top one. So obviously Hutch have been very clever. They've prioritized pro power unit at the top, then speed, then cornering in terms of the costs. But we are going to go for the Cyclone. Now, because we've got 565 points or even 570 on our free to play account, that means we can go and purchase another part. So I want you to take a look at around halfway down. We're going to balance that speed part off with a cornering part. And we are going to take the gearbox, the last Series 10 in the list. And it's going to be the Dryro from Nova Speedworks. Now, it is a bit lower, of course, on the current speed at 19. But it's got a really good cornering stat of 53. So we're going to balance this car out nicely with a good 60 speed part and a 53 cornering part. We have then got 17 and 20 for power unit and qualifying. So a little bit okay, I would say, on the qualifying. But again, the pit time is the lowest one around it too. And it's only two stats off the one above in terms of Stormringer. So 210 points. Now, you can take drivers if you wish, but I do feel the car is beneficial. Now, the key here is look at the total stats, look at the CC points, and see if you can work out how to get the best as well. But they are the two that I'm going to get. Take a screenshot of that as well. I've kind of done it all the way down to your Series 7, Series 8 parts that I feel are valuable as well. And you can see the bright green gives you the biggest stat in that division for speed, cornering, power unit, and qualifying time as well. So hopefully you can work out and you can put your CC points to good use. So should we go and buy that kind of stuff shall we yeah why not let's show you we're going to commit and this is going to be massive for our free to play account so we are going to go on to cyclone you can see the difference it makes already 37 speed 10 cornering 12 power unit 13 qualifying and there it is in the bag committed and done we are prioritizing the car we have got 225 points left. So if we bring up our parts, look, you can see that the next best is 210. And we have got that gyro or Stormbringer. So we are going to go down to series 10. There is the gyro. There is the Stormbringer. So if we hit the gyro, you can see 30 cornering is going to be very nicely. And 0.22 on the pit time down. So we'll commit to that. 
and it will leave us 15 CC points that we can buy some Series 1 assets or something with. But that is what we're going with, and I do think that's going to make a massive difference on the race. Now, look at what this does to our car. Team score is going to go up, but our car is going to be great, which means we might match people who have got bad sort of cars, but good drivers. So we'll dominate in that race. So we'll add the gyro in, and we will add in the Cyclone. And there you go, looking a lot better. Now, obviously, my car on the free-to-play is a very low one at the moment. It is only racing in Series 3. So with that in mind, obviously, we're not seeing 100 pluses in terms of our stats. On the main account, obviously, we will see that. 4.5 pit stop, which is great. Add a little pit time boost on there would be even better too. But that is looking good. Now, we've got to improve our qualifying stat a little bit on our other parts, but speed and cornering balance very nicely. But they are the two parts, I think. Let me know down below what you think, but that is what I'm committing to.